from Time Oklahoma City, zero, zero. Oklahoma, and he was in the final back in Rockwall, Texas, just right wide there and a very fun player to watch. He's dominant, has a strong tennis background, but to circle back to that question, how do you think Ben zero, Johns zero. is faring after that heartbreaker last night in men's doubles? Uh, well, I mean, I think obviously he's going to be disappointed. He's going to be upset. They had a chance to win that match. I'm sure they expected to win that match. But I think that's where you just you take it out on your singles opponent zero, right zero. here and try to get yourself to championship Sunday in the other two categories. But again, that's what makes it so incredible. The run that Ben and Annalie have been on that when they lose is like big news. Mm -hmm. which tells you so much about zero, zero. their dominance. And, uh, but yeah, that gap is narrowing on the men's side for sure. Side out. Not only uh, men's doubles, but uh, also in singles, of course, he's, he's been pushed. He's lost a few times this year, so. Zero, zero. He does not take anyone for granted as, as does Annalie. Point. tape to the corner for Chris Hayworth in that last meeting I referenced in Rockwall, Texas. It was a final. Chris Hayworth took the first 11-2 over Ben Johns and then came back to win the next two, 11-3, 11-9. your thoughts zero, three. Uh, to this point what is the style that stands out to you about Hayworth and his ability to have success too good from Ben Johns he's on the board yeah you know actually I unfortunately I haven't had a chance to watch Hayworth play that much uh, I've certainly have heard his name many times I know he's had some huge wins uh, but, you know, he's, as people can see on the screen, he's long. He's a tall guy, but he moves well, despite Point. how tall he is. Covers the court well. And obviously had to take out some quality opponents to get this far. Yeah, his... Two, the draw three. was not easy to get to this point. Chris Hayworth took out Dylan Frazier. Yep. Side in out. the round of 16, had Yates Johnson in the round of 32. That's a formidable opponent as well. Then Grayson Golden, who took out Donald Young in the quarters. Three, two. Three, two. Side out. Yeah, those are some great players. He obviously would have had to play Garnett if Donald Young ha hadn't taken out Garnett, so he was on that side of the draw. But some great players that he took out Two, to get three. to this point. Yeah, great deep return on that backhand from Hayworth. from Chris Hayworth. Yeah, short return from Johns. Like Put himself was... in a very vulnerable position. Great roll from Hayworth. Like he was going to go inside out on yeah. that shot. That's not 
going to make for a happy Ben Johns. We saw a lot of frustration the last couple of days, especially in singles with wind or how the ball was bouncing or whatever it may be. And another pass from the backhand side of Hayworth up the line. He's got a big lead here. Apologizes there for the net cord. It's one of the first, and I believe the only player to also be signed with Babylon. You notice his paddle's a bit different from what you'll see, and that's a let cord give it back over to Ben Johns. And if you missed the men's doubles match last night, Colin Johns had a pretty epic response to one of his left courts that did not go his way. <laughs> pretty funny. Ooh. Side out. There was, was fortunate there. That law was short, but Johns not able to put it away. 7-2. So good from Chris Hayworth. The pass and now an 8-2 lead here in game one. Yeah, and how low he kept it. That forehand was dipping so hard. Makes it obviously impossible for Johns to get that one. 8-2. That's so deep. Big, big serve for Chris Hayworth. 9-2. Oh, almost had it. Side out and a seven point hole for Ben Johns to climb out of. I thought ben was maybe there though, if it had gone over anyways. Oh, Ooh. Point. is that out? Yeah, I think, it, I think it landed out. We saw Ben be down a lot, right? And in, in game one and two, I believe in his uh, match yesterday. Came all the way back. Yeah, against Kwong Duong, you were right about that. Oh, hey, we're missing with that backhand. Point. Mistaken in Rockwell, I believe Hayworth had a pretty nice lead on Ben in the third and surrendered it. Yeah, he uses that long frame to lean in, take that ball out of the air to not give Johns time. We're gonna see it right here. He leans in before the Johns could get to the kitchen line to get set. Hayworth takes it out of the air. Nine four. Puts it away. Service out. Side out. Nine four. Point. Game point. Game point for Chris Hayworth. Good serve. Yeah, put that ball in the corner. Off Ben Johns last season. 11-4, 11-4 was the score line. We'll see what Chris Hayworth is made of here in the second game. It's, you know, with a, against a player like Ben Johns, it's not about getting a game off him or to the final stretch. It's about closing him out. Because right. He's really, really hard to close because he finds ways to creep back in. Well, nobody makes adjustments 
like Johns does. He studies his opponent so much. People know this. He has notes on his opponents. Jeez, I'm yeah. sure he spent time watching Hayward's matches. That's out. Point. ATP attempt turns into an ITP. Here's a look at Ireland Four, Horvath zero. here on the PPA side and Maddie Torin, Ben's social media coordinator, looking to get the best footage of the best player in the world. Hard workers, too. Great spot for Chris Hayworth. Angled it to the kitchen. Trying to catch Johns, maybe cheating to the back end. Try to go one more time Four to his zero. forehand, but misses it wide. Point. Time, Time out receiver. called here from Hayworth. Try and sneak out wins wherever he can. Five zero. Kitchen for Ben Johns, no argument from him. Yeah, rare footfall. We don't see too many of those from Johns. One five. Great return. Point. Good adjustment from Hayworth. Taking advantage of that net cord to make his way to the kitchen. really dangerous with that backhand. Seen even a couple times where he had an opportunity to take a forehand on a return, chose to hit a backhand instead. Two, five. Oh, another net court. That's, that is the third net court passing shot. The Hayward has had maybe fourth. Three five. Side out. Nice 
Nice little run, though. Back within two. Five, three. Point. Another clunker into the tape. Oh, sailed that of just getting one Time gold in. on Seven, a multi-year career. Yep. Okay, Point. well, another missed return for Chris Hayworth. Wind is picking up, as we said, three. and it's coming on the back of Hayworth towards Johns. Point. Oh boy. It's a post that time. And you saw how far he went to hit that back end. He clearly seems to favor his back end on returns of serve. Nine, three. Point. Game point. Game point quickly here for Ben Johns. Ten, three. And Jones will indeed force a third deciding game. A no shortage of paradise views. Game three upon us now. Chris Hayworth. And Ben Johns squaring off. Ben Johns comes away with the side out. And the returns were an issue for Chris Hayworth in game two. So keep an eye on that here in the third. Zero, zero. Yeah, the wind has actually shifted and it seems to be going the other way a little bit. But just not as strong as it was a few minutes ago. Good shape on that cross court backhand from Hayworth, forcing Johns to go really low for that volley, trying to hit a drop shot. Leaves it short. Yeah, good return deep to that center line. Sometimes when your opponents are creating a lot of angles from the corners, mm -hmm. you're better off attacking or returning deep down the middle to just not give them as much angle. And that's what we that's what we saw there from Johns. Point. Still found an angle there from the middle, though. Yep. And a tie game here in game three. Challenge from Ben Johns quickly on that Point. ball towards the sideline. Okay, and Chris Hayworth will instead surrender the point to Ben Johns, saying that he would overturn his own call. Love to see that. Just honest play. We need more and more of that, in my opinion. More of what? Just One, two. honesty, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, that ball's on the line. Skidded. Yep. Yeah, I just think, I, I don't know. I, in my opinion, there's too many players that take advantage of knowing that they're not going to be overruled yeah. most of the time. Two, one. And, um, Great wow. ball, great ball, just completely goes behind Hayworth. Hayworth was leaning to that left as he got to that center line at the kitchen, and Johns just fools him with an off-speed roll back behind him. 3-1. Big pass wow. lane. Out of the air. Wow, yeah. surprised he didn't take that one out of the air, but according to that shot. Worked out well. Yeah, maybe he thought it could 
you know, could be pushed out and didn't want to risk hitting the ball if it was going to land out, but still worked out for him. Normally you want to take those out of the air, not, not give your opponent time. Wow, inside out on the backhand. Yeah, he's hit several of those already. Mention, he seems very, very comfortable on that backhand side, maybe even prefers it. Two, three. Lefty. Oh, oh no, lost it. And Chris Hayworth John's, ties it up. Yeah, John's just made every rec player in the stands feel so much better about all their missed overheads because he just chunked that one. It is hard, it's hard to time, and especially when it's windy. Maybe that's why Hayworth opted to let it bounce on that yep. last play. True. Wow, and a pass to match it. Lead swings on the side of Hayworth. Big serve. Little run here for Chris Hayworth. Yeah, John's just made a couple errors on that backhand volley. That's the second one. Five, three. They're not easy shots, but certainly shots that he usually makes. Yeah, I see the patented backhand poke from Johns. He tilts that paddle face down so much. Three five. Ooh, barely gets past the kitchen line. Was wide. Hayworth made sure to track it all the way to the sideline. on the misconnection there for Chris Hayworth. Stuck on five. Hayworth looking more animated than I've seen him in the past. Yeah. He sees uh, he's inching closer to that finish line. Doesn't want to let the moment slip away like yep. he felt like maybe it did in Rockwall. Mm. It's not that long ago. It's only a few months. Uh, John's read it well. He's frustrated because he was on that ball. Just paddle face, too open. Sails it long. Five three. Side out. Just can't get off that five.
crushed it. Great set of two. Ben framed the third, it looked like. Chris Hayward took full advantage now. Can he get off this five? Five three. He can put together here a big serve. Leaves it a little short. And that short serve yeah, was going to hurt think, him. Yeah, I think when you keep getting side outs, you got to go for a little more of your serve because you're, you're obviously getting plenty of opportunities back. And I, I, I just think he's got to be a little more aggressive Bring with that back. serve. He's got some win now at his back. He needs to use it to his advantage. Within one. Great third shot drop two from Ben to that backhand side of Chris Hayworth to set himself up. Just again, same shot. It's just that off speed roll that just freezes you as you're charging in, maybe expecting a hard hit ball and instead takes all the pace off of it and fools Hayworth again with that forehand. Bye-bye. Wow. Great hands. Just barely recovered to the middle, too. All right, let's see what he does with this side out. I think it's been at least three or four. Yep. Service chances on this five. You want to see a Bye big five. serve here from Hayworth. Yeah, much better. No! Point. Yeah, He's much better. Set, set himself up. Six five. Wow, big close for Hayworth. Yeah, great anticipation, realizing that ball was going to stay up. He hits that backhand, and you saw immediately after he hit that backhand, he was already moving forward, looking for that ball to take out of the air, and he got just that. Rips it for a winner. Whoa. Side out. Look out, Hayward almost, Hayward, excuse me, almost tumbling into the boards. But he's off of five, and he's got the two-point lead again. We'll see what Ben Johns can do here. Oh, it's... Was it good? <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I mean, Hayworth was hoping that ball would go out. Big serve up the T2 from Ben Johns with a third shot drop to the backhand side again of Hayworth. He's been doing that sequence quite a bit. Wide for Hayworth, and Ben Johns ties it at seven. Yeah, I think Hayworth is going to try to return to the backhand of Johns here, hoping for a drop rather than that forehand that he's gotten beat by a couple times. Oh, instead we have a miss serve from Johns. Clips and net, but lands on the kitchen short. Seven, giving seven. Hayworth a side out. Wow, Chris Hayworth skates the kitchen, buries it. Takes back a one point lead. Yeah, again, just great movement forward off of the shot. Saw him right there anticipating that ball. Just doesn't give John's time Eight to recover. Seven. Another big close. Hayworth, two points away from taking the match. Same exact pattern right there. Backhand cross, low to the backhand of John's, moves in for the next ball, takes it out of the air. He's done that about three or four times in this match already. Nine, seven. Let's see if John's returns to the forehand this time. He does. Oh no. Oh no. Let cord for that match just, point. <laughs> that ball might end up in the pool. That's a defeated look there from Ben Johns. Does Chris Hayworth have enough to pull it out? That is the question. Trying to get the crowd behind him here for match point. Match point. The crowd has been amazing. 10-7. Massive upset.
that in the semifinal to the championship Sunday he goes and down goes the two seed Ben Johns and is Chris Hayworth Chris final moments of the match you have match point on your paddle you know how good Ben Johns is at coming back in matches what's running through your mind in that moment yeah, I know uh, yesterday he was down, I think, 8-1 in both games. So uh, I knew I just had to stay solid. It got a little close there in the end, so I was lucky to pull it out. How exactly were you able to pull it out? Because you know more than anyone it's not easy to get a win over this guy. Yeah, I think just staying focused on my game plan, not worrying about what he's doing, and just more focusing on myself, trying to roll the ball, get it below the net, make him hit up on it. Um, you know, he's so tough, so uh, every point was a battle. Chris, for the fans who are new to you and to your game here on the PPA Tour, what's your story to finding this sport that we all love? Uh, I started about two years ago. I fell in love with it from the first day I started. Uh, I think I didn't stop for like three weeks straight uh, and then decided to play some pro pickleball, and now here I am two years later. Well, a big congratulations for you. A huge upset to start our coverage here on Humana Championship Court. Congrats, Chris, on the championship Thank you. Sunday. Thank you. Go.